this video we will be going over how to apply soil applications with the HTI 2000 soil injector and Mariyama gas powered backpack. First things first, make sure you are wearing all of your appropriate PPE in accordance with the label and manufacturer's guidelines. You're going to want to start by mixing your product into the backpack reservoir. Start by adding in some water first, then add in the appropriate amount of product according to the label rate. Top that off with any remaining water to get the total dose volume and gently rock back and forth to mix it all together. From there you're going to want to attach your HTI to the backpack unit with the hose using the quick disconnect. You'll also want to insert the tip of the HTI into the backpack reservoir to circulate the product through the hose and back into the tank. This ensures that your hose is filled with product before your first dose and that the product is mixed thoroughly. When you're starting the backpack unit, make sure your throttle is turned up to about a quarter to a half way. You don't want it turned up too high. Set your dial to the starting position and put your choke on. Give the engine a pull and it should start right up. Take the engine off choke and move your throttle to the idle position. If you're using the Mariyama backpack, make sure you are applying on the herbicide setting. This ensures you are applying product at the correct pressure between 80 and 120 PSI. Now you can turn your throttle up and you're all set to start applying. When applying any product using the HGI, you want to make sure you are getting equal distribution around the entire tree. Some people will start with cardinal directions, others will just work their way around the tree with equally spaced injection sites. The HGI 2000 comes equipped with a digital counter, so you don't have to keep track of the number of injections you have applied to your tree. The HDI is also able to deliver up to 250 milliliters of solution per injection site. So this number, with the amount of product, will help you calculate how much injection sites you need for a tree. If you encounter an injection site where the product is moving up and out of the hole during the injection, you should try applying to another area. You can also reduce the pressure and work the HDI back and forth to help break up the soil. This situation may occur in sites with heavy compaction or certain soil types. Once you have completed the number of injection sites at your tree, you can hit the reset button on the counter and move on to the next one. And at the end of the day, be sure to run at least 1,000 milliliters of water through the HCI to help clear out any residual product and keep your equipment operating at peak performance. <music>